Padmavati Shankara was born in circa 788 CE. Adi Shankara was a multilinguist from an early age. Legend has it that he knew his native language, Mayalam, when he was age two and Sanskrit by age three. By the age of five, he knew the Vedas and completed all his studies at the Guru Kulam when he was 12. He had completed the study of all the scriptures like the Brahma Sutras and the Upanishads. Between the ages of 12 through 16, he traveled, wrote his commentaries, and taught his disciples. For the short span of his life of 32 years, his accomplishments were phenomenal, especially his commentaries of consciousness, handwritten on palm leaves. Adi Shankara was a Vedic philosopher from Indian subcontinent who consolidated the doctrine of Advaita Vedanta. Vedanta is an ancient Indian philosophy used to describe a group of philosophical traditions concerned with the self-realization by which one understands the ultimate nature of reality, Brahman or Self. He was an influential teacher and established the Guru Shishya Parampara, the student-teacher traditional system. Adi Shankara anointed Vedanta based on two simple propositions. First, human nature is divine. And secondly, the aim of human life is to realize that human nature is divine. The goal of Vedanta is a state of self-realization or cosmic consciousness. Historically, it is assumed that this state can be experienced by anyone, but it cannot be adequately conveyed in a language. His stylistic approach consisted of poetic narration. He would coin songs on the spur of the moment, depending on the situation he is in. The universe is the reflection of a mirror. The truth is the supreme Brahman, the one without a second. The mind, senses, and intellect are all able to only discern the reflection of the Atman. The identity of the Brahman and the Atma is apparent after self-illumination. Only when humans recognize the Atman, pure self, in themselves and in others, do they begin to respect each other more. And with that, help in bringing about the change in humans, to stop war, and to stop making enemies among themselves, as their individual Atman does not differ from each other. 
it is much the same self.